of the uh, ladies that watches my videos sent me a message that says uh, that gate that goes in the river had blown over during that storm. And she don't think uh, when Jake and Bree come by last night, they didn't put it up real good. It's just kind of concerned. And uh, I don't want the cows getting out. I, I figured Jake didn't put it up good, but I, I thought I'd come just double check it. Hey, guys. I'll come double check it. Now, that I've been in Miracle out today. It's so wet there at the barn from all that raining. And she's not ready to camp today. So I said, I'm going to let them out in the sun. The sun's out. It's cold today. It's pretty cool. But it's nice and sunny. We're going to go over and just tie that gate up good because I don't want it to get knocked over. These cows go out. No, I hear you. And, uh, so that's what we're doing right now. I, double checking. Just kind of double checking. I don't, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Right, hey? Right, Kip. Kip said, yeah, that's right, Papa. <laughs> That's what we say, hey. Safe, better safe than sorry. River's up. Uh, well, it was up yesterday. Go out here with Daniel working at the fence that day. Yes, sir. You can see all that. You know, that day was down here. You can see that sandbar all out across there. You can't see that sandbar no more. I came down yesterday and video a little bit after the storm. Video a little bit during the storm, and that is coming. That's coming. Well, that'll be out tomorrow. Y'all, y'all will see this before then. But uh, most all that water is completely gone this morning. A little bit behind the barn there. The ponds are all good and full. Here that thing she talked about. Making sure it's up. It looks like Jake came down already fixed it. Yeah, I see his tracks. That's good. Oh, Jake. Oh, Jake's a good boy. I knew he was. Yeah, I see he's coming fixed it. So, I'll show y'all something over here. Look what he's got. So, he did check the hog pen. Look at the end of the hog pen. These are wild hogs, folks. Uh-uh. No, no. No, no. No, no. Wild hogs. Well, uh, let's see. They're both boys. They're both boys, and they could eat you alive. But you can see all the ground they've tore up around here. And those two hogs there... Either one of them could kill Kippy and probably Heidi within a, just a, a couple of minutes. They've got those sharp tusks coming out of the side of their mouth there, and they're mean. They're wild. Stop. Stop, Kippy. They're both boy pigs. Oh, they're just right size feet, too. But they would kill Kippy and Heidi too, and even a, anything else they want to kill. They're dangerous. That's good. That's good. Let's go. Let's go. I'll tell Jake he's got pigs. Come on, Kippy. Don't go away, baby boy. All right, says Kippy ain't real smart, Papa. What do you think about that Kippy Heidi? What's wrong with him? You can see where they've been digging at her last night. It wasn't just those two, I guarantee you. There was a bunch of hogs here last night. There was a bunch of hogs here last night. You can see where they've been tearing the ground up. And just two of them got trapped. That's good. Let's go. Johnny, Johnny, you need to go to your people. Papa, my papa, why well, I gotta go to my people?
Coach, you need to go with your people, Johnny. You need to go with your people. I'll drive slow, y'all. Them two boys gonna say, you better leave them little girl alone, Johnny. Too close to the river, mate, because I can't fish you out. Right. Hey, baby. Oh, uh, y'all being good? Being good, my boy? I know you are. You're taking care of, ain't you? I uh, takes care of them. Yes, he does. takes care of her. Takes care of these goats. I'm on this drive around maybe one day when it warms up. We go from animal to animal, telling you a little bit of their story. Uh, got some new subscribers who'd like to know the stories. A lot of you folks, probably most of you folks already know them. How I come about having these guys. Right, baby? You love Papa, don't you? You love your Papa. You sometimes, sometimes Papa, I like to butt you. I know you do. You like to butt. Yeah, I like that. Right here. See? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Sometimes I just want to butt my Papa. <laughs> All right, baby. No, I don't wear plaid every day. This is my pajamas. <laughs> I wasn't planning on coming out except just to feed up and go back to the house. And then I wanted to come check that gate. I've been just laid up on the couch. It's cold out here today. Uh oh, uh, uh, don't, uh, don't. Seriously, don't. Uh. There's not a package. There's no, there's no treats. There's no, both of y'all. Y'all are unruly. 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 Now don't be pulling, don't be pulling stuff out of there, okay? I'm serious. I'm serious. Let's get out of here. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Howdy, right, stop. Let's go. Come on, howdy. Hey, come on. Up, up. All right, kid. We're going out. Uh, you can see the task ahead of me. All that, most 99.9% .9 of that is junk. Stuff that's broken, no good, and they just look like they just throwed it up inside here, closed the door, and and sold it. 
The trailer itself is in immaculate shape. Immaculate, don't leak. Got this big ramp. I've got it sitting on top of this low board trailer. The stuff that goes to the dumpster, I'm fixing to put it in the back of my mule and take it to the dumpster. I'll bring some totes over here and pick up all the little metal stuff. and It'll go down to the metal bin and dump over at it. You see all kinds of stuff in there. So anyway, that's that's going to be my chore. I don't know how much I get done today. Probably not much. Uh, I'll probably come back out tomorrow afternoon and work some more on it. Once I get it finished, uh, I may leave those big shelves in there. I'll clean up that end. There's some things with this end. And the solid shelves will be good for my uh, animal stuff. You know, stuff I use for my animals, halters, uh, ropes, lead ropes, and all that kind of stuff. Be a lot of good space in there for that kind of stuff. And I put everything kind of combine it, all my livestock stuff in one place without going to my tool room and going to my man cave or even going to my kitchen ice box where I keep a lot of medicines. So I can kind of combine everything. Uh, the stuff goes in the ice box I can keep in my man uh, in my shop area. Right I got a refrigerator in there I keep a lot of stuff in. So it'll work out good. Alright. I run into Jake and Alyssa down. She's she's back. It's really good to see her. Uh, he's going down to check his trout. I said, you got two pigs, Jake. Two pigs in it. You need to go in and let's have bacon tonight. <laughs> Jake ain't going to do anything with them pigs. Probably turn them loose. But uh, we'll see. But uh, anyway, there are two good good looking pigs in there. They'd eat you alive if you opened them up. Let them out of there. I went in there with them. Uh... All right, I'm going to get busy here. Well, actually, it may not look like it, but I've got all the small stuff picked up and moved out. You can see my mule is full of just junk. And this is the second load I've carried to the dumpster. And uh, it's just piled up in here. It's the second load. The other one's a little bit more than that. The stuff that's left here is big stuff. I don't need no help, Johnny. No, I'm serious. The stuff that's left here is big, heavy stuff that I'm just going to drag out onto this trailer. And I'll let Dan and Kelvin them look and see if anything's any good. If it's not, it'll go to the metal dumpster. Uh, I found a couple of things pretty good, pretty good shape. Uh, and I'll point them out to you when we get it all cleaned out. And then that old stuff hanging on it wall I'll take it down and uh, clean his walls up real good it's gonna make a good feed room and I need to get it done uh, probably tomorrow I'll try to come home tomorrow I got an appointment tomorrow morning and try to drag his big stuff out of here so I can move this trailer so I can move my truck and trailer here out of the way so I can get to my shop I can't even drive up my shop with my mule and uh, I got to get busy on that tractor yonder. I got a lot, a lot of stuff going. Uh, I just can't get it all on the same day. Uh, those two cases there are like tool cases, like kind of like suitcases in a sense. But you, you had they carried tools. Perfect shape. There's nothing in them. And I may be able to use them for like uh, you know some of my own tools. I could take tools out to a job or something. Just load them up. You carry them a lot easier. Let's see. Anyway, there's some old stuff here that I have no idea what it goes to. It's just some old, like some old bearings and stuff. A bucket full of that stuff. Most of them rusted all up or bad. And some old things there that will go to the metal pile. And uh, some rebar, piece of rebar stuff in that bottom shelf over there. It'll go to the metal pile too. Uh, besides that, there's a roll of plastic's got to come out of there. And some, like I say, some some old big chains and stuff, some broken up pieces and stuff. It's just like they took all their old stuff that wasn't no good and throw it throw it in these trailers, and <laughs> that's the way it went. All right, let's go haul this stuff out.
Howdy. These guys are cold. It's, it's pretty cold today. Winds out of the north. It's probably about 40 degrees right now with the wind blowing pretty hard. Right, Kip? Guys, I got this skillet. It's a cast iron skillet. And I'm going to, uh, it was really in bad shape when I got it. You know, you can go to these scrap yards sometimes. And people discard these things or, or sometimes they've used them for water feed feed bowls for their dogs or cats or these water bowls and then they don't want them and they throw them away or put them in a the scrap and you can really get a good deal on them. This one here was in really bad shape and uh, got it for a little bit of nothing. I'm going to season it. I've cleaned it today. It had is full of rust. And I cleaned the rust out of it. Uh, there's so many ways you can do that. I've seen so many different ways people do it. Uh, I tried a new way today, and it worked. It worked really. It, like I say, it was caked on rust in the bottom. I scraped as much of it as I could out, and then I took some oven cleaner and soaked it in oven cleaner for about two hours. And I've got this little old... Uh, Oh, I guess it's called a uh, chain mail. Like, you know, it's, you can buy them off of Amazon for cleaning stuff with. It's like a little chain, uh, loops a little chain off it together. And it took that rust right out. Then I washed it good. And I put it in my little oven here to dry it out good. It's dry now. It's completely dried out. And tomorrow, I have some time. I'm going to put some oil in it. And we're going to put it in this little oven here and see if we can't... Uh, season it and it'll be a, a good pot a little good skillet so that's that's the plans of this skillet we're going to season it tomorrow with oil in it and put it in this oven here for an hour at like 450 or 350 whichever it needs or 400 i guess i think is a good good temperature for it for one hour and i'll show you when we do it and it's going to season it and you know you can do you can do them several different times you know you can keep just adding your seasoning to them each time that's really not necessary but a lot of people do it once it's seasoned you know just cook with it don't worry about trying to wash it and all that kind of crazy stuff <laughs> just wipe it out good and it's ready for the next time all right we're gonna do it tomorrow